how to create a sphere bulge effect in Affinity Photo, PC or Mac. Select a layer in Affinity Photo. Go to Filters and Distort and Equations. Set the coordinate system to Polar. Go to the Extend mode and set it to Mirror or Wrap. Leave the T field alone and go to the R field and put R times R. You can modify the R times R by putting divided by 6,000. Doesn't have to be 6,000, it could be 500, 400, whatever you want. You can also modify this, the R. Put bracket around it, plus 1,000 bracket. You can also use parameters. You see parameters down here, A and B and C. And you put, instead of that, you can put A, times 1,000. You can also put bracket around the 6,000, put 6,000 times B bracket. And you can change these values, and you can modify the A as well, and you can still interactively move the origin. You can vary the values. You don't have to use 1,000 or 6,000, maybe make it 10,000 and 1,000 for the B multiplier. And you see a different result. With this layer, I can go to Filters, Distort and Equations. Unfortunately, you can't store the previous equation. Set to Polar and go to the R field and set it to the same equation. You can modify the parameter, parameter B. You can also change Extend mode, maybe make it Wrap. And you will see if you reduce the B, you can see multiple copies. And then you can distort that. However, you might prefer just to use zero and then just distort that layer. And you can see you can create all kinds of distortions, modifying the A as well as the B setting. Click apply. You can also use it with shapes. So go over here to the shapes tools. I'm just gonna go with ellipse, create a circle. Go to filters and distort and equations. Set polar. Go to the R field, enter that equation again. And you can see now you've got this distorted design. You can modify the extend mode, set it to mirror. And then you can reduce the A and also the B. And you can see it repeated there multiple times and still continue to move it around. Modify A. And of course, if the design is not exactly what you want, you can always go here and say, put 4,000 instead, or 10,000, up to you, and move that around. You can see that distorts all the way around there. And again, you can continue to modify the A as well as the B setting. Click Apply. With text selected, you can do the same. Go to Filters, Distort and Equations. Set Polar, enter the R value, and you can see that is now distorted as well. You can still modify the extend mode. You can go down to mirror or keep it as zero and modify the settings there and distort the text. Again, you can go here and you can say, put 10,000 instead of just 1,000 and distort it that way. And again, still can modify the A as well as the B. Click apply. You can also repeat it. Filters and repeat equations. So you can distort it again and again and again to create all kinds of distortions with text as well as shapes and images. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much.